Hello, everybody. We are back here on Call of the Wild. I hope you're all doing good. Hope everybody's day is uh, going great. How's everybody doing? Hey, shots. Hey, Nick. Hey, Scotty. Uh, Mr. Squirrel, Ben, Desui, Fusion, Hunting Boy, Sawyer, Brayden, Black Eye, Blacksmith, Jamal, Yon, uh, Whitetail Lover. How's everybody doing? We're going to jump back over to some Tiabaroa today and grind out the great one. Hopefully we can get him today. Be nice. It's uh, been an ages since that we managed to uh, get one of them. Hopefully today we'll change that up for us. Hey, Jen. How's it going? Hey, Parker. Hope you've been doing good. Hope everybody's day has been going great. Uh, we need to change weapons. Get rid of all these. Hey, Milan, how's it going? Yeah, man. I gotta do it every time, you know. Every time we jump on, I gotta do the the, the signature intro. I just gotta. Alright, let's see what else we need. I know for a fact we'll bring the 308, and I think, I think that should be all we need, really. 308, 300 should be plenty good. Yep, looks like we're ready. Nice, Scotty. Hopefully you end up getting uh, something pretty crazy soon. Honestly, guys, I'm excited to see how uh, the post-update Tiawaro is going to be. Since they're going to change the Red Deer drink time, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what things are different. Because it's definitely going to change the Red Deer hunting quite a bit, and it looks like they're in much different locations, so I'm very curious how that's going to go. Hey, Thunder, how's it going? Hey, Duck, how's it been, man? Hope you've been doing good. Just got here. What's going on? Uh, we're chasing after the Red Deer Great One. Hopefully, we can end up finding him today. Just doing a good old-fashioned uh, Red Deer grind. Okay, those are going to take a little bit to run over here, but we might as well just try to blast them while they're up there still. Oh, the other one got behind the hill before I was able to... Get that shot off. Yeah, he's probably gonna live, but the other ones I think are down. What's the time changing to? I believe it's gonna be in the morning. I can't remember the exact time, but I know it's like nine. I know they'll be drinking around like the nine o'clock time. I can't remember if it ends at nine or if it starts at nine. But I remember seeing that when they were uh, doing the stream showing off the weapon wheel. Oh, you've missed a ton, Duck. You have missed a ton. Recently, it was announced that we're getting a brand new map called Revontuli Coast, which is going to be a Finland map that includes 19 species. 19 different animals are going to be on that map, and it's going to include some pretty crazy amounts of waterfowl and upland birds. Hello there. Um, just... Okay. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, there's going to be a ton of amazing species. It's going to be pretty awesome. Nice, Milan. That's awesome. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? Don't forget your Scooby Snacks. But, but, but... Hunter doesn't get any Scooby Snacks. He doesn't even find my trophies for me. What have I missed? Just got here. Oh, you haven't missed anything, Crow Scare. We just started, like, literally probably six minutes ago. You made it just in time. What color would I recommend for the tracks? Um, I like using brighter colors, typically. Stuff that's not going to blend in with the grass. 
So anything like purple, blue, red, those are usually pretty decent. Those are usually some of the better ones that I've uh, noticed work pretty well. All right, I don't think that other one's going to die anytime, so anytime soon, so we can uh, move on. Oh, for me. Okay, gotcha, Caitlin. Yeah, Duck, it's crazy, dude. There is 19 species on this new map. There's a ton of uh, awesome ones, too. I'm trying to think. Um, if I can remember all of them, I'll name them off. But there is so many different uh, species that I can never remember all of them. Uh, what do you mean, Romeo? It's 2 p.m. for me. I'm assuming you are uh, in a different time zone, then? But anyway, the species that are going to be on the new map is the Eurasian Teal, the Bean Goose, the Grey Lag Goose, um, the Golden Eye Duck, the Tufted Duck, the Raccoon Dog, the Mountain Hare, the, the Black Grouse, Willow Ptarmigan, Rock Ptarmigan, the Capricali, the, what else is there? I think that's all of the new species. I think that's all of the new ones. Because I'm, I'm only counting the new species right now. What else am I missing? Was that all of the new species? That was 12. Is there any other new species? I can't remember. Pretty sure that's all the new ones, but it's an absurd amount of new stuff. Yeah, I already mentioned the Capricallis. Well, I'm not talking about the re the repeated species, guys. I'm only uh, listing off the brand new ones. Yeah, I said raccoon dog. I think that's all of them then. Uh, they're respawning, Blacksmith. What happens is, uh, depending on how you're grinding, how many lakes you use, how many zones you use, uh, how many you kill out of each zone, it all affects things like uh, when they come back. So, most likely, what's happening is they're going to different zones. This happens quite a bit. There is uh, many times where if you grind a lot of different zones and lakes, your deer kind of spread out between everything. They kind of just spread out between everything. And so you'll get a lot of situations where your whitetail may be going to brand new zones that are somewhere near the area where you killed them, but not the exact location. So. Most likely, you just need to look around a little bit more and try to find where they've moved. Yeah, I think I mentioned all of the uh, geese. I said gray lag and tundra bean goose. And I believe that was the only two new geese. How many great ones do I have? Currently one red deer and four white tail. Hey Will, how's it going? I just answered you, Romeo. I said it's because I'm in a different time zone than you. For me, it's 2 p.m., which is pretty early. But I'm assuming you live in a different time zone, so it's going to be a different time for you than what it is for me. Because right now it's, you know, just a couple hours after lunchtime for me. Uh, the two new geese are Tundra Bean Goose and the Grey Lag Goose. That is what we've got for the brand new geese. Hey, Warren, nothing new as of now. They have not uh, announced anything different for the map recently. However, it is Friday currently. So like four days until we get some more info, most likely at least. 
All right, later, Simon. I don't know why, but um, for some reason, YouTube is holding your messages for review, which is odd because uh, there's nothing in there that should cause them to be held. Oh, yeah, Crow Scare. He's doing good. Oh, nice, Romeo. That's awesome. I assume you're probably pretty excited for this new map, then. I'm guessing you're pretty excited for the brand new Finland map. Do I not have the right binoculars? <gasps> no! I forgot my night vision ones. Um, Yeah, we gotta go back up here. We gotta go grab those. Can't be grinding without them. They're basically a necessity. Hey, vampire, nothing yet. We just started, pretty much. She's doing good, Caitlin. Uh, she did really good last night. I'm happy that she's uh, getting used to the place very quickly. Probably, Simon. It was fine with that one, though. That message came through fine. Can't... Um, dude, are you kidding me? I just... <laughs> I always do that. I go up to grab something from the uh, the locker and I completely forget about the item I was going to grab and just start looking at chat instead. Okay, here we go. We're, we're actually grabbing it this time. We've got the Gen Zero Night Vision Range Finding Binoculars. Uh, Hunter, are we forgetting anything else? You gotta remind me, buddy, because my brain is... Uh, it's not all there right now, I tell you. Uh, during the 50k special, what game did you like other than Call of the Wild? I really enjoyed Bigfoot. Bigfoot was a ton of fun. Had so much fun playing that game. And it seems like it was the most popular with uh, everybody watching as well. Need to get back into the game. Haven't played for about five months. Not sure why. Oh, definitely, man. You definitely need to jump back into it. Now is probably the best time because they've been doing a lot of stuff to improve the game over the last couple months. They've been trying really hard to not only get a simultaneous release for every update, but they've also been fixing a lot of the bugs, and uh, the updates have had less and less new bugs each time, which is great. It's nice to see that they uh, decided to buckle down and really focus on the quality of the updates. It's great to see. Let's hope they keep it up. Just realizing you didn't have any forest highlights from those streams in your recap, I wonder why? I don't remember, actually. I'm pretty sure I just forgot to do it. Because there was a lot of uh, clippable moments from the forest, but I just kept forgetting to clip everything that was funny because I was just so into the game and having fun playing it. Unfortunate. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was hilarious though. That was hilarious, though. Got trolled on PC today by a Cape Brown 150. Unfortunate, Hank. Gotcha, Duck. Yeah, that's totally understandable. I've been doing a lot of uh, ARC playing in my free time. So I've been playing some other games as well. I do like Classic compared to Call of the Wild. I don't like it quite as much. I do prefer Call of the Wild because it's a bit more of my pace. But I do enjoy some Classic from time to time. It's actually the game that got me into hunting games on PC. So I have played quite a bit of Classic, but I do prefer Call of the Wild. Both are fun though. Both are very good games. Nice, Scotty. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? I see you've been uh, catching the fishies. I need to get out and do some fishing soon. To be honest, I don't even know if there's any fishing around where I am. I'll have to... I'll have to look at what the closest place to fish is.
Um, butt shots. <laughs> what? Okay, I don't know what just happened. I don't, I don't know what happened there, but that is an invincible deer. That is an invincible deer. Hey, Eric, how's it going? It definitely is, Cole. It's a lot more slow-paced. Takes a bit longer to learn. Has a more realistic uh, pacing and style to it. It definitely is. I don't think so, uh, Marjorie. Hey, Prosper, how's it going? It has bullets, bulletproofing. Get the 470. We gotta get the 470. Gotta smoke it with the 470. It's the only way to penetrate the impenetrable red deer. Nice, Johnny. 214. But we don't have a 50 BMG crow scare. We've got a 470 though. Small male. Another small male. So we're doing a couple runs of uh, not using our strategy. Because I want to kind of... I want to see how much of a difference I really notice. See if it really changes things up a ton. Because I'm curious. Wow, Nightbot's actually doing its job for once. Hey, Shirley, how's it going? We need the 950 JDJ. That thing is a beast. Like, my gosh. That thing is a beast, man. An absolute beast of a gun. Yeah, same, Johnny. I don't really keep too many small trout. Just got a 253 small rack diamond red deer a few minutes ago. Nice, Blacksmith. That's awesome. Got you, Elite. I think the uh, raccoon dogs are going to be cool. It's probably the the land animal that I'm most excited for. I think uh, I'm more excited for some of the waterfowl species than I am the, the raccoon dog, but I do think they'll still be pretty fun. Did we miss another? We must have missed an... There's, there's like... There's got to be at least a couple we missed, actually. Oh, right there. Well then. Oh, there. Ah, that's adorable. Live together, die together. Thought you were happy for lynx. Well, lynx aren't a new species, Crow Scare. How many diamonds do I have? Like seven hundred and one, I think. Oh yeah, the Capricali are going to be really cool, and so will the uh, the Black Grouse. Uh, it's going to be the same size as all of the other maps, uh, Romeo. Yeah, beavers would have been cool. I am still kind of bummed they didn't add them, but I think we got a lot of cool stuff to make up for that. You know, I should probably be looking down and picking up the trophies, shouldn't I? I keep getting distracted. Smoked fish is amazing, Cannibal. Smoked fish is so good.
Especially smoked uh, Chinook salmon. Ooh. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're so good. Would be cool if they added a 375. Yeah, it would definitely be good. I think 375, 416, 460 would all be great additions. 416 is my most wanted though. I saw that you were playing that, uh, KC. What type of a game is it? Is it like an open world style game or is it more of like a story based one? Where's Gerald? I don't see a Gerald. Where's Gerald? Where did he go? He's tossing all the other ones at us first, I guess. Where's our buddy Gerald? Can't hide from us forever. Ah, there he is. What's up, Gerald? I'm going to kill all your friends now. Sorry. Not sorry. Poor Gerald. Yeah, me too, Elite. Me too. Well, I mean, it'll die. Oh, it died. Nice. <laughs> Gerald really has seen so much. We're basically traumatizing that poor red deer for life. He's never going to look at another red deer the same because they all just die in front of him. Oh, nice, Casey. That's awesome. I might have to try it out. I might have to try it out if it's uh, Diablo style. I do love me the Diablo games. Dude, I we just need Diablo 4 to drop. I want I want that game so bad. I'm so tired of waiting for Diablo 4. When is it even planned to release? Cuz I I know for a fact it's got to be coming out this year, right? I think it has to be coming out uh this year, if I remember right. Um, I don't know who that is, Wolf. I have no idea who that is. Me too, Casey. Me too. I had so much fun with Diablo 3. I never got to play Diablo 2, but Diablo 3 I spent a couple thousand hours on, probably. Playing with uh, my wife and then a couple of my friends. We used to play Diablo 3, like, Every day. Grinding out the uh, seasonal leaderboards, trying to get up as high as we could on whatever class we went with. I always went with Demon Hunter. Because I just really enjoyed using the uh, Demon Hunter. Hey, Revive, how's it going? Uh, nothing new. We've just been uh, blasting everything in sight. We're uh, doing one run without using our strategy and just blasting everything uh, to kind of see if there really is like a big difference, I notice. Don't see anything there. Looks like just one there. All right, so we only have one more to blast. You know what, KC? Do you have uh, Diablo 3? If you have Diablo 3, maybe we could play it sometime. Because it's been a bit since I've played it and I kind of miss it. I kind of miss playing Diablo 3.
Wow, nothing over there. Interesting. So some of these are definitely late to their zone. Well, I saw something. There he is. I don't know if that hit vitals. Um, I believe so, Elite. I believe that would. Nice revive, that's awesome. Oh, not really, Christy. You didn't really miss anything. Never got around to starting a crusader. Gotcha. Well, we definitely got to do that sometime then. Uh, maybe... Maybe we could uh, kind of fiddle around with everything on there today, get everything ready, and then do a stream on it, like, uh, in a couple of days or something. Because I've got... Uh, tomorrow is my recording day, so I'll be recording videos all day. And later tonight, I was planning to record a video as well, so... I could do a little bit of stuff tonight, but probably not like a stream. But uh, we could maybe hop in chat for a little bit and try to figure everything out. English. English is difficult and I can't speak it. I tell you, you talk to Flint a certain amount and then your, 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 your full English just starts to really show. <laughs> oh, man. How many kills? I don't even know what we're at at this point. I have no idea. Yeah, wording, gooding wording is difficult, you know. English is perfect. Per per perfect. Gosh, I really can't speak today. You know, I'm just going to blame it on the lack of caffeine because I'm out of coffee. And I haven't had the time to walk to the store, so... Yeah. I've just been running off of uh, whatever caffeine is in this soda. And it just happens to be some of the most low caffeine soda I've ever had in my life. It's only like 12 milligrams. Do you speak any Finnish? I don't. Unfortunately, I only speak English. Soda, what soda? Uh, it's just like the, the Safeway brand Cherry Cola. Their uh, signature select brand. I don't know how widespread the Safeway uh, chain of stores is, but I know they're like a, a West Coast thing. I don't know if they're across the whole US though. I haven't really checked. It's the same across everything, Hampton. Don't think they're in Ohio, never heard of them. Yeah, I'm assuming it's a West Coast thing. And I went the wrong way. What's max weight for Bighorn? I can't remember off the top of my head, actually. Uh, yes, Vampire. It's all from just doing great one grinds. 
Uh, when you kind of calculate everything over these grinds, I've killed roughly probably 5,500. Probably 5,500 red deer. And they give around 1,200 to 1,500 cash each. So that alone is, you know, a few million. Probably like six or seven, maybe eight million just from red deer. And then we also have over 11,000 whitetail kills. So yes, it uh, it is all legit and it does uh, stack up quite a bit over time when you're doing those types of grinds. Uh, yes, Grady, they are. We will have brand new brown bear models, which is amazing. They all look really good. Happy to see them giving some touch-ups to some of the older species. Shot a 284 diamond moose with the muzzleloader on Layton. Also shot a level 9 black bear who was 0.20 off diamond. Nice, Raiden. That's awesome. Currently doing Medved story missions for the albino legendary brown bear. Nice burger. I still haven't done that mission. I probably should. I keep saying that I should go do it and then I just, I just never do. I really need to remember. Maybe we'll have to do it on stream one of these days. Just do a Medved mission stream. Yeah, me too, Caitlin. It's going to be interesting with it being a waterfowl focused map. I couldn't possibly even imagine like what type of uh, missions they're going to have. Going to be very unique missions, I imagine. What if the uh, missions are actually focused on the uh, raccoon dogs since they're considered to be like a pest? What if it's focused on them? That would actually be kind of cool. There's like a, a raccoon dog invasion. You have to eradicate all the raccoon dogs. The raccoon dogs are uh, attacking all the local game and you must save the day. I could totally see them doing something like that. That's what I'm kind of wondering too, Johnny. I feel like with no weapon being added, it would make sense for them to have at least a weapon skin. A weapon skin would be good. Oh, where's the others? Is the Scarecrow blind? Probably. Probably. I, I feel like I missed it. Oh, it's right there. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Okay. Interesting place to die. No wonder I missed it. It was like behind where I come out of the tent. Eh, probably not, Romeo. To be honest, right now, I don't really have time to learn any other language. I'm busy as is. I couldn't imagine trying to also, like, uh, learn another language amongst all of the stuff that I'm already doing. Hey, TTV, I got a new kitten. Her name's Evie. She's a cute little fluffy black kitten. Super adorable. Eventually, I'll probably post some pictures in the Discord, if I uh, if I ever remember. Oh, nothing yet. Uh, let's jump to the main menu then, and then jump back in. Hey, Tristan, how's it going? Hey, Logano. Found the great one at Top 2. We're waiting for our on to get on so we can all shoot it. Also found an albino gold lion today. I'll shoot it. 
What do you mean? What do you mean all shoot it? It would uh, it would wreck the trophy rating if you all shot it. Got a massive piebald moose like two weeks ago. Only been playing for five months. Nice, Luki Pro Gamer. That's awesome, man. Congratulations on that. Where'd you get it? It was actually a stray that we rescued, uh, TTV. So basically what happened is one of our neighbors had a, a stray cat with a litter of kittens show up and live under their house. And all the kittens and the, uh, the mother cat as well were very skinny. And you could tell that they weren't doing super great. And so we rescued one of the kittens. Um, the neighbors have one of the kittens now as well. So hopefully they'll end up doing good. This little one right here, she's starting to uh, do much better. Like only having her for three days at this point and she's already starting to get very friendly and used to the place and uh, she's starting to fatten up a little bit being slightly less skinny so hopefully yeah unfortunately we couldn't catch any of the others TTV the mother is very skittish like she doesn't let anybody get near her and after having two of the kittens uh, get taken she's very very uh, cautious and isn't bringing them out into the open as much so Unfortunately, we were only able to rescue a couple of them. But a couple is better than none. And it works out perfect because I was wanting a kitten anyway. And this one is already a little sweetheart. Wow, that actually dropped it on the spot. Okay, that went way better than I thought it would. And we've got a herd over here now, which is kind of weird. That's got to be this herd. I think they moved. Wait, the zone, the zone's gone now. I know I didn't delete that zone. That means that zone just decided to disappear. Why am I doing the red deer grind on Tiawaroa? Because it's the best map for red deer. There is more red deer on Tiawaroa than there is on any other map. If you don't mind hunting at night in the dark, then it is by far the best way to quickly grind red deer because it, it is absurd the amount of red deer that are here uh no Lewis we haven't got her there yet probably will soon though but right now we're just trying to get her used to the place Is 162.5 max for capes? Yes, it is. That is max for cape buffalo. Uh, where's this other red deer? We shot one over here, I think. How many kills do you need to get a great one whitetail? There is no number of kills that you need. It's random. It's just a matter of luck. Running red deer on Quattro, it's really good, but I decided not to harvest them, so it's really fast. I mean, well, if you're doing it that way, of course it's going to be fast. And to be honest, CTV, I have not had the time to do much of anything. I'm working pretty much 24-7 on videos and streams and all that type of stuff, so... I personally don't really have the time to be doing stuff like that, but once Bree gets back from vacation, maybe she can. But I, to be honest, I really don't get any time away from uh, recording and streaming. 
Where's this one that was right here? I know we shot one. Was it really over here? How many rare diamonds do I have? I think just like three or four. Yeah, I think I have four of them. Well, six, but two of them were during the time where diamond axes here were spawning more often. So I don't really count those. There we go. There we go. Gotcha, TTV. Well, I think they'll be fine for a little bit because uh, now that now that those people know about them and that we do, uh, people have been giving them little bowls of food every once in a while to make sure they have something. So they they'll be fine. I'm sure they'll be fine. Bree's been giving them some food whenever she walks by there, and she takes walks pretty much every day. Um, obviously, like I mentioned, she's on vacation at the moment for her uh, sister's wedding. But while she's here, she does. And then one of the uh, one of the neighbors does as well. So I'm sure they'll be fine. Nice, Wookie, that's awesome. What diamonds don't I have? Uh, like half of the Medved diamonds. <laughs> and then uh, Feral Pigs, Pavelina, couple others as well. Just booping red deer like it's nothing. Do I have a guide for red deer hunting on Tiabaroa? I do. I do have a guide for red deer hunting here on Tiabaroa. Uh, you should be able to find it just by searching up uh, Great One Guide Tiabaroa Scarecrow, and it should bring it up. How long have I played Call of the Wild? I've played it ever since the pre release beta they did back in late 2016. Where's Gerald? He's chilling. Gerald's chilling. What was my first diamond? Uh, my first diamond ever was a red deer, actually. It's funny, my first diamond was a red deer. My favorite species is the red deer. My favorite great one's the red deer. My favorite diamond's the red deer. It, it's just red deer across the board. Just red deer across the board. What's the best map for hunting red deer? I think Tiaboroa is personally. I find more stags on this map than I do on any other. And they are always in such good areas on this map, so I've always seen this as the best place to hunt red deer. Got you, Logano. I mean, I personally don't really condone that, but... It's not a strategy, it's an abuse of a game mechanic. It's what's known as trading in the community, and the vast majority of the Call of the Wild community is very against it. Think that parquet is the most underrated map i think the problem with parquet is 
Well, there's a few different things that I think have caused Parquet to not be quite as popular. One of the big ones being that it is a brushy map. A lot of the lakes do have quite a bit of uh, rough terrain and very uh, like brushy shorelines. And then I think one of the other things that has made people not enjoy Parquet quite as much is just simply because they screwed up quite a bit on the Axis Deer Truex release where everything was spawning as a diamond pretty much. They had way too many uh, diamonds over spawning and that killed a lot of the hype for Axis Deer. And then you've got species like the Red Deer which have a bunch of other maps they're on, Mule Deer on a bunch of other maps. I think the biggest demise of Parquet was just the fact that so many other maps have the same species and then the species that they don't have had something to screw with them at one point or another. I think that's the only reason that uh, Parquet isn't a higher rated map for a lot of people. Yeah, Drayden, that is pretty sad. It is pretty sad. Really unfortunate. Yeah, but you're still ghosting your map, uh, Logano. It's still ghosting your map. <laughs> yes, guys, I know there was a pie bulb. We're keeping that one alive. I, I, I've been seeing the messages this whole time. I just wanted to, to let you guys uh, <laughs> go crazy about it for a second. But yes, yes, I know there's a pie bulb. That is Harold. We've been keeping him alive as a pet. That's the homie Harold. We'll be uh, saying hi to him every time we go by. I personally am really excited for it, Lukey. I'm, I'm excited to have lots of birds. I do agree that I would have preferred to have a couple more land species, like uh, maybe a couple more antlered species would have been good. However, I think with the amount of new species we're getting, I'm okay with it. There's the other one. I was going to say, I know there was another one over here. But I couldn't remember where it was. Welcome back, DJ. How's it going, man? I've been doing pretty decent. Just very excited for this new map. And uh, hoping that we can get another great one before the new map releases. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, do you guys see what that is? Holy... Dude, that is an insanely big sag. That's an insanely big piebald. Oh... My gosh. Oh my gosh. That is insane. That is insane. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a giant. That is a gigantic stag right there. Do we have anything else around? I mean, that's a mythical, but I don't think that's a rare. Nah, it's just a normal mythical. Jeez, that's crazy. What a beast of a stag. I cannot believe that we've actually got ourselves a pieball this huge. Uh, we should get a little bit closer and try to take some pictures, although the wind is... The wind is really bad, so that might not work. Nice, Johnny. Yeah, this is such a beautiful one. This is one of my favorite racks. I'm just happy it's actually even. Like, for once, it's not mismatched. It's actually an even-looking stag. I mean, I do think that it's probably two different antlers, but it's two that look very similar, so it basically looks like they match. That's awesome. That's so cool. This is one of the biggest stags of this grind, uh, rare-wise. Yeah, Johnny, for sure. I want it to be a Mela. I, I so badly want a Mela. Aluki Pro Gamer, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. It's awesome. Keep it up, man. Thank you. 
Really appreciate that, man. Really appreciate it. A TDV, at this point, it honestly just seems that you're digging for uh, things to try and nitpick out of it. Every time, every time that I uh, ease your mind on something, it immediately turns into, well, then this is going to happen. Don't worry. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. I feel like you're making a lot of assumptions without actually trying to understand what I've actually told you. Let's call him a Reginald. <laughs> nah, I want to take him out. I want to take this guy down. Well, also, TTV, you're not taking into account, like, how much they're being fed and things like that. I never told you how much. You're just making assumptions that it's an overloaded, an overloaded amount, which I never said it was. Wow, what a beast. And down he goes. Wait, that wasn't good? What? Oh, no! How is that not good? Oh my gosh, and how did we... How did we get to save that? How did we get to save that? Oh my gosh, he stopped at the perfect time. He stopped at the perfect time. That's crazy. I can't believe that actually worked out. I thought we screwed it up. What happened to that first shot? Did it just move as we shot? Because I know he did that thing where he just jetted off. <sighs> wow. Oh my gosh. Dude, my heart is racing right now. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I can't believe we almost lost him. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. Wow. So that is what happened. And look at the score. 227. This is my biggest rare stag ever. This is officially my biggest rare stag. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's huge. Dude, I'm absolute. This is the most I've been shaking from a kill since the last great one. Oh my gosh. Just look how big this dude is. That's a beast of a stag. And they are slightly different. Like, uh, these, these antlers are definitely not perfectly matching. Uh, as you can see, these tines right here are quite different. But it's close enough to where it actually looks pretty natural. 223 kgs. That's a big male. That is such a big male. Absolutely crazy. Am I the lucky charm? You might be, DJ. You might be. We did spot it right as you joined. That's crazy. That is crazy. That is such a giant. We gotta understand, TTV, like 99.9% .9 of people in the world, they're not going to know to immediately do that. Like, I don't know anybody in my entire life that that would be the first thought they would have. Sometimes it just doesn't come into your mind. You gotta understand that not everybody has the background that you do. Not everybody is going to know what to do in different search different situations. It's it's just the way life is. Not everybody's going to have the same thoughts.
Hey, Luke, it's going good, man. We just got a giant piebald. Poof, that's a good looking mythical, too. Really good looking mythical. And the good song is on. It is Crow Scare. It is the uh, the OG Scarecrow theme song. Has popped on for that giant red deer. Thanks, Duxton. I appreciate it, man. Also, welcome back to the stream. Nice, DJ. That's awesome. That's awesome. Calm down, TTV. I already know what you're going to do here. You're going to do the same thing you did with Kill Clinton. Posting a nasty message on his comments. Telling him that he's a, a piece of trash. And that he doesn't care about his fans. I already know the type of uh, type of things that you resort to when you're upset about something. You gotta understand that people make mistakes, and people like yourself could even misinterpret things at times. And I feel like a lot of times you act without thinking. And I've seen that more and more with you over the last year, year and a half that you've been a part of this. Always picking a fight. Always trying to find something to fight about. It is something that I've noticed quite a bit. I also never said that I wouldn't do it. I never said that I wouldn't contact them. I just said that I didn't think of it at the time. But you would rather just complain that it wasn't an immediate thought. You would rather just say that I'm a terrible person because I didn't immediately think it when I've got a million other things in my life that I have that are more of a priority to me. I love cats as much as the next person, but just because I didn't think of it immediately doesn't mean that I'm a bad person, you know? And those streams were completely for fun. It was still completely optional. All of that was just for fun. There's a difference between saying, like, give me money and saying, like, anytime somebody donates, we'll do something special. Like, there's a huge difference. TDV, I saw the comments that you left for him. When I personally know him a lot better than you ever could have. I know for a fact that that's not his intentions. Just because he has a sense of humor that caters completely to a different audience than you. Has a different style of sarcasm that doesn't uh, translate well sometimes. It doesn't mean that his intentions are what you think. What I'm saying is maybe you should take a step back and actually think that it might be the way that you're perceiving people that's wrong. It's not always the stuff that you make it out to be. You make it out to be that everybody's a terrible person if they don't think the same way that you do. I've seen it time and time again. And the lack of, like, want to try and fix things between people that I've seen from you just is even more of a reason that I just don't feel like you're the type of person that will reason with anybody. Like, there's so many things that you could have done. You could have made suggestions. You could have, you know, asked more questions that are more relevant to my individual situation. But instead, you just assume that everybody thinks like you. And that if they don't think like you, they're a bad person. I don't get it. I don't get why that is your first, 
your first route every single time that something you disagree with shows up. You have to understand that not everybody is you. Not everybody thinks the same way you do. Not everybody looks at things in life the same way you do. And that sometimes you may just misinterpret what people are saying or over exaggerate what people are thinking. Uh, no, hunting boy. Tomorrow's my recording day. I don't know, Lunar. You missed a giant mythical. Giant mythical piebald. Beautiful level 8. Hey, Tattooed Gaming Chick, I'm doing good. Doing pretty good. Got the 300 Magnum yesterday. Maybe my favorite gun. Nice, Luke. Nice. Oh, it's just part of it, man. Not everybody's going to agree with everyone. Just how it is in life. There's always going to be people trying to pick fights, you know, whether it's uh, other YouTubers or people in the community. It's just going to be a thing always. And obviously, I'm not saying that I'm always on the right side of things either. I make mistakes too. Where did this one go? No, oh, right there. Beautiful. Yeah, Luke, we did get a trophy today. We got a giant mythical piebald. I play keyboard and mouse uh, sheet hunting. Or is that... Wait, is that... Oh, I think I, I, think I get the reference there. Sheed hunting? Is that like... Is that like shed hunting? That's clever. That's clever. I like that. Alright, nothing over there. I think we're good to go. Nice, Caitlin. That's a weird level 6. Uh, to be honest, I didn't even pay attention to him. I just blasted away. Yeah, we moved on, guys. It is what it is. Let's just uh, get past all the negative stuff. Let's get that negative energy out of here. How did I get that leaf ghillie suit? Uh, this is actually... It was kind of like a, a bonus for people that played the Hunter Classic and had purchased a membership on there back when they had paid memberships. It was for anybody that had a paid membership on Classic and also bought Call of the Wild within its first month of release. Uh, if you did those two things, then you got the ghillie suit along with the 270 Warden. Uh, now the 270 Warden is available for everybody, though. Yeah, Walker, for sure. That's a nice 7. It was a decent 7, for sure. Yes, it is okay to talk about the pie mythical. More like piebald thickical male. 
How many Red Deer Great Ones do I have now? Yeah, just one. Just one as of now. As of now, just one of them. Hopefully another one in the future, though. Uh, sadly, no XT. The quail and the pheasants are kind of strange in their current state. Kind of strange in the current state. Got my first rare red deer at that lake. Nice, DJ. I think the spawns and animal trophy ratings are not increasing at all. Took me 2,500 kills to even see a diamond. Hmm. Unfortunate, man. I've noticed people's luck can be very different. It can be very, very different. Well, that's for a different gilly, uh, Sudze. Yeah, it is a bunch of Heinz. There's a ton of them. Nice tattooed gaming chick. That's really lucky. That is super lucky. Nice, Lukey. I think it'll be a solid option. What spots do I prefer in Tiawaroa? Um, my favorites are some of these over here, the Pukimaro Lakes, and then these two lakes up here. They seem to have the highest concentration of stags. Nice, Tattoo Gaming Chick, that's awesome. Valor are fun. I do enjoy them quite a bit. Where was this thing? Wait, did we shoot two? I guess we did because there's still a spotting thing. Yeah, LC got a uh, rare great one. Still insane that he managed to get that. Um, Hunter? What are you doing, buddy? What's my favorite rare that I've shot? Hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of them that I like, but I think the Melanistic Pheasant is my favorite. Who's LC? Um, he is a Great One Grinder in the community. He does quite a bit of Great One Grinding. Uh, he's in the Great Ones chat, or Fabled Ones chat, quite often in the official Discord. No, my mic is uh, not muted, Scotty. I was replying to my wife because uh, she's about to go out into an area that doesn't have service. The uh, wedding that she's attending for her sister is like an outdoors camping wedding. 
So they're going to be in an area that doesn't have service for a little bit. Been hopping in and out of SRP service so much searching for a map that my game is lagging hard. Oh man, revive. That's wild. That is wild. Uh, Lukey Pro Gamer, thank you for the super chat, dude. Love the vid so much. Keep it up, man. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate the support, my dude. Really appreciate it. LC is like Mel with our whitetail great ones, pretty much. Mel is crazy good at grinding uh, for the great one whitetail. Absolutely amazing at it. LC is definitely that way with the uh, red deer as well. Crazy. Um, thank you for the super chat, man. Uh, I I don't know how to pronounce the uh, the name, but thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Hope 100k is soon. Hopefully, man. I mean, we're at 52k. We're halfway there. A little over halfway there. Level 7. And just to level 7. Hey, get back here. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, is there more? Dude. I missed out on so many. How did I not see them? What's my movie genre of choice? I have always liked horror movies a lot. Always been my number one pick. Yeah, I remember that black tail deer, that 50k black tail. I was surprised that uh, our 50k diamond was a black tail deer. Oh, I forgot one over there. Well, at least I know where one of them is. That's a good mythical. Definitely gonna take him down. There's a movie called The Ritual in a Dark Swedish Forest. Really good, could recommend it. I'll have to look it up, Elite. I'll have to see if it's something I might like. Remember when Crow cracked open a Coleman the 25 can't kill to level 4 Sika and said that might make it and it made it? That was uh, pretty wild as well. Where is this one that was over here? Alright, Johnny. movie that builds up tension more than just jump scaring you to the point where you have to make a visit to the restroom those are good video or good movies I do like those types I like the ones that kind of keep you wondering what's going on dude I am forgetting like 
half the trophies. I do this every time, I swear. We're about at the end of this drink time, so we should probably go, uh... Pick those up real quick. Nice, Elite. What's the age limit for Discord? 13. Hey, hello, how's it going? Alright, let's go ahead and jump down here. Nice, Waffle. Nice, dude. Alright, let's jump into the lodge and put this uh, red deer up real quick. I so badly want to see what this guy looks like on the wall. Thanks, Waffle. Yeah, it was a pretty awesome stag. Heckin' rough in the city today. Unfortunate, Hollow. Unfortunate. It's definitely not for everyone. You know, I don't mind being in the city, but I do prefer being in the country. Uh, being in the country is definitely a much nicer experience, but it is kind of nice to be close to things at the same time when you're in the city. That is the one thing that's kind of nice, is having everything just, like, within a walk away from you. Hmm, what do we even put up on these plaques? I'm trying to think of what order I want to do this. Oh, I guess I did have a bigger piebald, 228. But this guy's even, so... And then I guess we'll do this up here. Uh, might take a while to find exactly where it is in this list, though. Dude, where- oh, there it is. I was about to say, where is this thing? Where is this thing? There we go. That's looking beautiful. Love to see it. Triple mythical piebalds on the wall. First time I've been able to do that. Um, it was going to water swatting, but I forgot that I hadn't recorded the uh, fail wheel part of the video, so yeah. Oh, rip, I just spoiled it. Why did I say that? Rip, I just spoiled the video. <laughs> uh, oh well. Hey, at least that's the first time I've ever accidentally spoiled one of my videos. Just pretend I didn't say that. Pretend I didn't say it. <laughs> oh, man. Well, anyway. <laughs> uh, I will uh, see you all in the next stream. I'm going to hop off. Got some recording to do. Stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Really appreciate the uh, continued support from all of you. It's uh, awesome to see such an amazing community. It uh, really... Like, every day I think to myself, like... This is something that I really never, never thought that I would be able to do, you know, being a content creator and uh, having a lot of people that like watching the videos and streams. So thank you guys. Really do appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.